Hey everybody, Anthony for Before Adventures. Just thought uh, I'd do a video showing roof rack loading and what I'd typically have up on the roof rack. Because there's always a lot of questions around, you know, how much weight do they take? Well, the question should be, how much do you want it to take? Because weight up high is not a good idea. So let's get up there and have a look and I'll show you typically um, what we have on the roof. You can see the sand flag it can either go off the roof rack. That's one position we have for it with optional... Bull bar, bull bar, bull bar mounting available also um, as a backup plan. Typically the only thing I'll have on the roof rack, I've pretty much got the shovel up there all the time because obviously even day trips, track building, you know, shovel's one of your best recovery tools to be quite honest. Um, our custom made, not available from k sand flag mount. Um, let us know in the comments though if you reckon it would be a good idea if k made something like this that you could just, that came with these, that you could just universal with a, uh, you know, with a couple of different mounts, you select which mount option you want, bada bing. Anyway, so roof rack, it's the roller titan tray, obviously. We've got the uh, shovel on the side there, those quick fists, you get those from k as well. Um, four max racks for this one because there's going to be a bit of sand in areas I haven't been before as well. Of course, we'll lock those down with the new special k Max Tracks tool. Um, so pretty light overall, just a swag. Um, nothing up the middle on this trip. It's going to be at the camping part of the trip. It's only one person camping. If there was two when the kids were younger, obviously we fit in this double swag. Otherwise, we could fit a second swag in the middle here, which I'll estimate. What do they weigh? About 15 kilos, something like that. Probably 20 once you throw your pillow and doona as well. Sometimes we just leave it in there. Looks to me like the shovel's been up there for 10 years. I've done a bit of maintenance. I made the mistake of putting the polyurethane gloss on it. Not a good idea. It just flakes off. The sun hates it or it hates the sun. Um, just put a bit of linseed oil and give it a good sand. We don't want to be getting splinters out there when we're digging ourselves out of the sand or making a toilet. Nice little uh, taper out there to take off the end of the awning because the end of the awning, we've got the rear awning comes in really handy for uh, when you're making lunches and stuff like that or if you've got bad weather, but it's normally just to keep the sun off. Don't forget that group if you're in Australia, Oz Prado crew. And of course the side awning, the combination of the two, you're looking at about 200 bucks worth of awnings, uh, really good value for money. And that's all you really want to spend for the amount of time you really use them. It's good to have a great awning and it looks great, but. You're carrying a lot of weight, a lot of wind resistance around, and to be honest, you rarely use it, don't you? Some people use it. So now to the swag, you can see you can use the hooks on the roller Titan. These are the awning mounts from Roller, you know, for the Titan tray. You can get these little loops as well. So I've got options. I can hook it in there. I can hook it in there. I can hook it in there. On that one, I've just hooked it around there. But we've got we've got four on at the moment. Um, you can get away with two or three. It's always good to have that third for a backup plan. If you buy these from Bunnings, make sure you get the US made ones, see? Not the, you know, made in the C word ones. Anyway, I'm going to grab one of the shorter ones as well. Usually I put it across the front to hold the front down, trying to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. But for this trip, the swag will only be up there when we're traveling at lower speeds for the most part. Because it's for one person traveling for the most part of this trip, I've done a modification on the storage system, as you might be able to see here. Um, yep, we're testing out the solar as well, 14.3, beautiful. We've got another jerry can in there, that's a new thing, so we'll have one at each side. We've got one basically permanently in that side. I've taken one of the three out of the 150 and sat that one in there with a the hose temporarily, got to give those a good flush out, but really easy to access your water with a hose right there. Another one right there, happy days. A little bit of uh, cloths just for the dribbles and stuff like that, but you give it a shake off before you put it back in. So I've cut the back out of the storage system, as you can see. And while there's no passengers in the vehicle or no more than three people, I can put the swag through into there, which for highway speeds is going to probably save me a little bit of uh, wind resistance and a bit of effort. In case you missed it in the other videos, we still got the old 10 year old angle going that's been running 365 days a year, seven days a week, rarely gets turned off. Also gets plugged in 240 volt power sometimes, not at the moment. You can see we've got the permanent charger there. Um, but look, this uh, Red Arc. Charger there is working really well, and we've got a set of panels. They were from, the panels are from Milandi, apparently the same manufacturer as Red Arc. But yeah, um, a few years ago, 2019, we got those 160 watt panels. They seem to be going okay, working really well with that Red Arc regulator. Um, this is our jacking block piece of wood for uh, you know that extra two inch lift with some screws in it to locate the jack. But we're going to upgrade to one of those pack off road jack bases. It all comes in if I get time to go and grab one before the trip. 
but just mainly wanted to quickly show you um, what's going on up on the roof as far as weight goes because you know this would probably add up to about your weight it would be about your 100 kilos i haven't added up let's do a let's do a quick someone summary. can put it in the comments all right what's the tray worth you got the tray you got the lrs mounting system um you've got your awning brackets times four actually times five because i've got three always like i said that third one third one along the side there you've got your king square you've got four max tracks you've got your k-on mounting brackets underneath all these little bits and pieces add up and of course your shovel uh what else have we got here yeah so you know pretty well ticks the box um the tray two awnings one's 1.2 one's 1 1.8 uh swag plus the hardware for that as well all adds a little bit on without thinking too hard it's under 100 kilos but it's going to be getting damn close and that's really enough i'd put another swag up here but i certainly do not want a big box up here like people do full of all sorts of gear that you probably don't need besides being a pain to get down off the roof um, that's a lot of weight up on top there it's not what you want so in this one we haven't got the k on uh, extra storage shelf up there because we've got our top storage shelf shelf of our storage system so we've got some containers that go up there and i'll be doing my best to fit stuff up in there um, probably would be better off with the k on storage you know that light storage up the top there like what we got in the 150 but this vehicle we always used it without it so i'm going to now that I've used it without it for years and then used the other vehicle with it for a few years, now we've gone back to without it on a big trip with lots of gear. We'll just see how we go and I'll give you a report in some future videos. So subscribe, turn the bell on. Butter bing, just keep an eye on what you put up on your roof. Sand flag on the roof rack actually a little bit higher than the bull bar, even with the extra piece there. And um, look, to be honest, I'd rather have the shorter piece because less flex in the whip and all that sort of thing. We've probably got a bit too many flags going on there. We probably need to add one extra one. Haven't got around to that yet. We could probably add a few flags up there. So if you've got a flag, if you see this video and you'd like your flag up there, let me know. As long as it's small, lightweight like that little blue one, um, not big, heavy sort of things, stuff like that. And we'll get some flags up there because the more attention, the better when it, you're out in the sand dunes. That's what it's all for. Catch you in the next video, people. See ya.